Hey, peace and blessings to you. My name is Jerry B. I am the Entree Musician and so are you. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Entree Musician. This is the space where we concentrate on the mindset, discipline, and focus of the Entree Musician. And today's episode is absolutely no exception as today we finalized the series that we began so many weeks ago entitled You and Your Voice. And we were careful to space these lessons in between conversations that we've had with some incredible entree musicians who are using their unique voice in some radical way. And and no, as we've said before, we're not talking about their singing or their musical ability, but the essence of who they are and how these amazing entre musicians are just using the voice that they've been given, the platform that they've been given in some very, very radical ways to just change their society and to change their generation. For example, in case you may have missed a few of these, go back and check out the video that we did with Vail Lewis, who has a wonderful organization he founded called called F2F Music Foundation. And what F2F does is provides instruments for young musicians who cannot afford them. I mean, excellent things like that. That's what we're talking about when we say you and your voice. And before Vail, I mean, there were countless famous musicians who use their voices in a variety of ways. I mean, artists like Billie Holiday or uh, Bob Dylan, Joan Baez, uh, Mahalia Jackson, U2, right? Marvin Gaye, Public Enemy, Stevie Wonder. I could go on, but what did all of these musicians have in common? They saw issues, they saw situations and circumstances that they said, hey, we can speak into that. And they express the importance of their voice. So that's what we're going to explore today, hopefully providing some ideas that get deep down into your spirit to motivate you to see how can I use my voice in ways that I have not yet imagined. Now, you may remember that when we began this series, we started out with seven ways that you could raise your voice. And we were not talking about they were limited to those seven. I mean, there's a variety of ways to do it. But the seven that we presented, which were knowing yourself, knowing your business, overcoming fear, understanding failure, learning to pivot and uh, expanding your perseverance and speaking clearly before speaking loudly. These we were saying were completely customizable to you, to your voice, to your situation, to your platform. And if you recall, our second video really honed in on the uniqueness of your voice. Well, because there's only one you. Now, today's topic zeroes in on the absolute why, the foremost importance of your voice. And I'm very passionate about the importance and the impact of my own voice. So I'm very happy to share my heart with you. But before I do, let's just take care of a few things. First, I do hope that you're enjoying the content that we provide here at The Entree Musician. Our heart is to make sure that we're providing content that is transformative to your life and to your career. And as you are aware, there are hundreds, if not thousands of similar videos which provide tips and methods on how to uh, improve your songwriting, your musical abilities, your recording, your marketing capabilities. And I watch most of those myself. In fact, in the future, I'll be doing an entire video on those resources that I go to and people that I listen to so that you can have access to them as well because they've made a tremendous difference in my own life. But our mindset, discipline, and focus here at The Entree Musician is to help you improve yours. I mean, that's why we exist. I mean, whether it's videos like this where we're sharing a lesson or whether it's conversations that we're having with other Entree Musicians, they're all designed to help expand your process on thinking through and improving why you're put on this planet as an entre musician. I mean, that's the core of who we are, mind, heart, and spirit. What are you called to do and how can you do it better? 
We want to provide content that is relevant and that is designed to build your career. To that end, if you have not yet become a member of the EntreeMusician.com, I'm going to ask, please consider doing it today. I mean, you can get exclusive content for as low as a dollar a month. That's right. A dollar a month. Now, of course, the scale rises in proportion to how much exclusivity, access, uh, collaboration, networking, consulting that you desire. But all you have to do is just go to the entremusician.com, click on the backstage pass, register, and get started today. In fact, just by visiting the entremusician.com and putting in your email address, you can get my free ebook entitled 50 Engaging Ways to Turn Your Fans into Family. Again, I ask that you just go and do it right now. Come right back to this video, okay? Now, let's just get on the front burner right now and find out what's going on. Have you ever heard of NFTs? For the past six or seven weeks or so, there have been articles and videos which are on both sides of this issue as to whether or not NFTs are to an advantage of creatives like you and I, or are they enemies of creatives? Now, NFT stands for non-fungible token, and non-fungible simply means one of a kind, like my beautiful wife, for example. NFTs are part of the Ethereum blockchain, another big word, and Ethereum is a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. Now, NFTs can be anything digital, um, like it's mostly used right now for art, selling digital art or drawings or paintings. And it gets deeper as it gets into where music fits into this uh, category. However, uh, there are a lot of rabbit holes to go down, and I want to encourage you to avail yourself to the myriad of articles and resources so you can do your own research. Well, the point is, however, and the reason why it's on the front burner is because NFTs are designed to create something digital that cannot be copied, and then you own that original and can sell off the entire thing or pieces of it to someone else. And through the NFT cryptocurrency, it's designed to pay you a percentage of that every time they sell it to someone else, whether they sell it in whole or in part or any way that it changes hands. It gets really complicated. And again, my point for bringing all of this up is because, you know, I'm personally into technology. I'm personally into progress and advancement. Uh, I mean, I cannot imagine, as you I'm sure cannot, life without your cell phone, even though I spent over half of my life without a pager, <laughs> you know, when pagers were hot. You know, I can't imagine going back as a recording engineer uh, or a producer to the two inch tape and, and splicing the two inch tapes, but that was part of the recording world for decades. I'm very happy with my DAW of choice. And, you know, I, I see the incredible opportunities that social media provides entre musicians when marketed properly. But when NFTs come into play, I must question, is this yet another distraction that gets us off track and helps us to jump on another bandwagon where somebody else makes the money? And the key word here is distraction. For example, you get the latest smartphone and, and you become so engrossed with all the bells and the whistles and the apps, so much so that you can't put it down, so much so that you're in traffic putting other lives in danger when you're on your phone texting instead of driving, right? <laughs> or instead of just posting one or two or three consistent posts on your social media platform, the one that gets you the most consistent feedback and engagement, you spread yourself too thin and you fall into these infinity apps and you're always replying or, or liking or loving or perhaps even arguing your point instead of concentrating on your craft. And when it comes to your craft, what are you doing? I mean, you know, you become involved with, you know, the best compressor that money can buy or how many plugins you have or, you know, what's the best DA and you're always buying and always investing in or even creating a, a pedal board that uh, that rivals Ingway Momsteam, for, for example. 
You know, you get into the gear and into the equipment instead of the discipline being about the music. And I personally see this whole NFT conversation as just yet another distraction. Now, I could be wrong, and I would love to know your thoughts on this. You can get in touch with me directly or leave a comment here below. But when I see all the fodder and I look at all of this, I think people making art just to sell it as an NFT instead of creating beauty is nonsense, you know, and they always have to throw a few names out there of people who, oh, so-and-so have made millions of dollars on this, just like they did when they rolled out Spotify. But guess who's making all the money? Now, I don't know what's ahead for the NFT industry and, you know, I'm, I'm not a prophet or anything, but here's what I think. I think that you still need to build your core audience, your fans, your tribe. And when you're building them properly, it doesn't matter what format you may be releasing music on. They're going to love you. They're going to support you. You know, uh, they're going to cling to you. And so that's what you got to do. <laughs> you got to go make that love. Right. And again, I would love to hear your take on it. Give me some feedback. And and by the way, if you register as a family member on the backstage pass, then you get to choose the topic that we place here on the front burner. In fact, if you go all in at the backstage pass, you will even become a guest here on the front burner. So I want you to go to the entremusician.com and I would like you to register today. Okay, so let's get back on point to where we're going with the importance of your voice. That's today's topic, of course, if you can remember. Now, if you recall, when we were discussing the uniqueness of your voice, we went through great pangs unpacking you being you. And again, go back and watch that episode. I'm not going to cover all of that today, but it is necessary for me to remind you that because you are you, that you were handpicked by the creator to be the color you are, the age you are, to, to be the biology that you are, to have the education that you have, to live where you do, and to have the experiences that you have had in order to directly influence and even possibly change the environment or atmosphere or issue or circumstance or the situation that you may find yourself in or that others who follow you or who are with you are in, especially if you are an entree musician. Did you catch all of that? I mean, because you're you, it will take you to be you to affect whatever needs to be done to make a situation better. And a situation can always be made better. We used to listen to that old Steve Arrington song, nobody can be you but you, right? And if anything is going to change, then you just got to be the one that changes it. Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. That's why if you have a voice and you do have a voice, you need to know that you've been given that voice, that instrument, that talent, that platform to improve the situation around you, to first bring awareness to it and then to become the catalyst for the changes that are needed. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm all for music, songs, and entertainment to be means of escapism, just to funk it out, you know, just to party up, to release yourself, to dance around, you know, to feel good, to make love, have a good time. I mean, that's cool. I'm with that. I'm all for it. It definitely has its place and it definitely has its time. I mean, you know, go hang out, right? And you already know where I stand, or at least you should, I've talked about it enough, on the censorship issue. And whether I dig that style of music or not, I believe that everyone should have the freedom to say whatever he or she needs to say in that moment, whether I agree with their point of view or not. That's who I am. And it's always humorous to me to hear someone say something about a musician or artist who just who should, you know, they should just shut up and sing, you know, and not bring up any issues that are real world issues. And most of the time, the person who's saying that does not agree with the issue that that artist is bringing to the forefront. 
And additionally, it's also humorous to me. And sometimes it's sad to hear uh, an artist, especially a rapper, I'm not hating on the rappers, but when they say, well, you know, we're just rapping about what's real, what's life, what's true, I dig it, you know? But the percentage of those who are rapping about the reality and how awful things are, there's a lower percentage of those who are not optimistic enough to rap about what could be. You, you understand what I'm saying? But I'm not talking to them about them. I'm talking to you about you and how important your voice is and how important it is for you to say what you need to say, even in the face of opposition and backlash or boycott. In fact, Billie Holiday, she was blacklisted and received all kinds of backlash for singing the controversial ballad Strange Fruit, which pointed a laser beam at the murderous lynchings in the Deep South, which extended well into the 1960s and possibly beyond. Marvin Gaye, he staked his entire career on the release of the song, What's Going On, which of course turned into an incredible album with songs to protest the Vietnam War. You got Stevie Wonder, you got Joan Baez, Bob Dylan, Mahalia Jackson, Sam Cooke. You got countless musicians who wrote and sang songs to protest unjust racism during the civil rights era. And in the early 1990s, you got Chuck D, Public Enemy, KRS-One, A Tribe Called Quest, and others who picked up the baton to inspire a generation back to proper consciousness. Now, we all know that speaking up and, and, and using your voice to its greatest potential and to tell the truth is a move that will cost you dearly. I mean, fans, followers, even friends may run from you, but those who remain will stick closer. And those who run to you during those moments will know that you are an authentic artist and, and that there will be genuine love and support because people just want the truth, man. I mean, <laughs> people don't want to be lied to. Everything out here is suspect. And rare is the artist who can strip themselves from the fantasy and live truly free. In this day and age, and all that we're walking through in our families, our neighborhoods, our societies, and even in the larger global community, your voice is more important than ever. Truth, sincerity, earnestness, humility, kindness, respect, honor, love that is soaked in truth, not just nebulous fact finding, but straight up genuine righteousness is going to cut through the bull chips. It just is. And it's time for you to stand up straight, get that microphone out, unzip that guitar, pick up those drumsticks or that horn and prepare to stand out, even if you have to stand alone. It's time to take the music back where it belongs to the foundation of honesty and accuracy, no matter what the genre or style. It's time to pick up your pen and write beyond the boundaries of one night stands and whimsical excess and get straight to the heart of life using your unique voice. Hey, truth needs a song. Why don't you sing it, right? Integrity needs a melody. Why don't you play it? True love needs a symphony. Why don't you compose it? Why don't you direct it? Why don't you produce it? We need your voice. We need your heart. We need your life. Stand up, <laughs> speak up, shout if you must. It's important because you're important. Use your voice. My name is Jerry B. I am the entree musician and so are you. And uh, I know I'm gonna see you here next time at some point and however you're watching, if you're watching on VizD, if you're watching on Armstrong, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're getting it on the podcast, however you're getting it, I appreciate you. And I thank you. Come on over to theentremusician.com. Hook up with us through the backstage pass. And let's just go on this journey together. Peace and blessings to you. I'll see you soon. God bless.